you guys what's going on. At the shop, just making this thing a little bit more drivable. Got a cool little tech tip for you. I had to grab the Sticks McGann. You know what we need to do? We need to upgrade Sticks McGann. The wheels McGann. Today, he's around here somewhere. I have to bring it up. Bring it up a notch. Anyway, so here's the deal. I do a lot of these Holly touch screens. Um, always looking for a spot to put them on the car that's not too fugly. And, uh, you know, a lot of the cars I work on have metal dashboards, like the wagon, for example. The wagon has uh, my controller for the air ride. I did this trick on that. But here's what you need. You need your little plastic holder that the uh, two inch screen goes into. That's this piece right here. Screen's down there, face down on the ground. What I end up doing is, let me get Sticks again. Hey, will you just hold this? Sticks, I think Sticks has been drinking. He's a little, he's a little, little questionable. Uh, anyway, Mark Gasparatch is here. Help me out, buddy. Up, let's do this. Is that an Alden American shirt they're wearing? That is, Alden American. Love those guys. Anyway, so here is the little plastic holder for the screen. The trick here is to make sure you drill. If you're gonna put it in there where it slides up from the bottom and you pull it out, this would be the top. I am gonna be setting it right down inside there. So this will be the top. So just above the little felt to stop it from vibrating. I use a unibit. Why do I use a unibit? You've drilled holes and stuff with unit bits. If it's thick, you notice that it drills the right size hole and then maybe deburs it, chamfers it a little bit different. That's going to be, do that's exactly what I'm going to be doing here. So I'm going to drill a hole here. You only get one shot to do this. I'm just guessing. Also, you might notice on my toolbox, I've always got these crazy ass earth magnets that are just. Yeah, difficult to get off. So I want this to be that exact size. I don't want to set that back down on the metal because then I'll have to fight it. Not there yet. Oh, you know what? I think I know what's going on here. I might have to step up my hole saw game. Just keep that thing running. So we don't want to miss this. I believe this is the one I want to utilize. However, I have to get the drill for this. Unfortunately, I have the handle right here. So guess on. what stuck to the drill under the inner bed? The magnet. I'm not joking. These magnets are really strong. All right, it's a nice new unit bit. Need to get just to the right size, and that ain't it. I think it's the very next size. Can you see that? Is that it? Man, it's really close. Maybe with a little deburring. But here's the deal. You don't want to go all the way through. You see the step in there? You can kind of see it. But on the reel, if you go too far, it's fine. You just use a little bit of epoxy. We're close, very close. Boom, that went right in. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. It doesn't really matter if they're too even. I get to fight one more of these. Yep. Okay. So now those magnets are on there. I would set it. We got that one in backwards. It doesn't really matter. But just for the so aesthetic. everybody's probably wondering where you get those magnets. Where you get those magnets? 
You know what? I don't even know where I got them, but I got a big stack of them. Buy them online. It's worth the investment. So here's the deal. Now you put your screen in this thing. You stick it wherever you want. It holds it fine. Allow me to demonstrate. Wow. I'll go on that side. You come on this side. I'm also going to get a little bit of gaff tape or some sort of cloth tape and just put it over the magnets just in case you have a painted interior you don't want to uh, be tearing it up this loads in from the top now you're going on a trip you want to keep track of stuff oh, there you go Oh, wait a minute. Is it date night and you don't want this big screen in the middle of the dash? Hold on. I'm just going to pull it off and put it down here because I want to know what's going on. <laughs> but you know what? It looks okay down here. But you know what? Put it down here. Quite possibly. Over here. What if I put it over here? Here we go. I can drive. Dude. It doesn't look too bad. Oh, car show? We're at a car show tonight? All right. I don't want that right there. I'm just going to... You can put it anywhere up there. Oh, yeah. You can oh, go over there. there. Stairs, yeah. Stairs. <laughs> you could put it right there. Go for a cruise. Tell me, buddy. That's the hookup right there. You know what we need to, you know what we need to make in mass production? Or a bunch of those. Okay. And then resell, cool. them, resell yeah. them the holly. And they're still removable. So you take it off, do some tuning, drop it back in. Actually, I bet you they'll come out with that magnet tape on the back. Yep. And then the whole idea got stolen. Anyway, there's a tech tip for you. Something you could do at home. It's pretty simple to do. It's pretty cool. Um, is there a razor blade over there? Uh, I'm just sick of it. Yeah. I'm over it. <clears throat> One, two. the while we're in here doing tech tips let's say dash setup dash one okay change the layout that's every gauge on the in existence we don't need that many gauges we're gonna go with just two three gauges no four gauges I think uh I think just two it's gonna be tack and oh I did that one Will be tack and speedo transmission man boost she needs boost scrolling down the transmission speed boom okay and I want it to be large digital large and RPM Okay, digital large. Okay, oops. These, screen, these screens are a little sensitive. Okay, save, screen one, speed is disabled. Oh, you know what, we have a uh, manual transmission, so we GPS that. So, we're on there. Ready?
this fine RPM, put it just big ass RPM gauge right into the dashboard, and we're set. I'm sorry, what? Like, subscribe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to like this video if you like it. Subscribe, because I can always use an extra subscriber. Leave some comments. If you're doing something cool, tag me. I'm Mobile Tech Lucky on all the platforms. That way I can check out what you're doing. Peace. See you later.